Welcome, welcome, welcome. Feedback is welcome in the chat with thoughts and opinions. Whether you are a beginner learner looking for advanced strategies or just brushing up, I am sure you will learn something new today as you follow along using the 2022 National Mahjong League card. You can purchase it through my website. The link is right here in the video. The site we'll be using today for our clinic is I Love Maj. I am a member of their partner program. When you sign up, you can use code CB as in Christine Blackford. You get an extra trial week. See up top in the video. Once you log in to I Love Mods, you're going to click on play and launch game. And we can play with bots or we're going to go down to the exercise room and make a hand. You can do a sequential order in building the hand based on the National Mahjong League card, or you can do random order. Today we're going to do random order. It's a great way to learn how the hands are uh, built. And if you're new to the card, I would start here. Or if you're new to the card because it's a new year in April, I would begin by building the hand. Select random play and hit start exercise. This is a great way to practice, and this is a good warm-up before we start playing with the bots. Right in the center of your screen is the category and the hand that we are building. We are working on 13579 category, line number four. The first thing they ask us is, uh, look at is all one suit because it's all one color. You get to pick the uh suit that you'd like. We're going to start with the fives and we need four fives and I'm going to use the dot suit. So you click on the five and you put four of them down. Next we're going to need three sevens which is a pung and we have to continue with the dot suit. So I'm going to add three seven dots and we just click on them and you click on it three times. Next is four nines and we have to use um, dot suit and I'm going to click on four nines. Finally, you have three dragons, which have to be the matching dragon to the dot suit, which is a pung of white dragons. And then finally, you click validate and the hand will let you know if you completed it correctly. Yay, congratulations to us. We completed the hand and you hit next hand. Next we will do the year hand 2022 line number two right in the middle of your screen. It's three different colors so we have to use three different suits. The color does not indicate what suit but just a suit. This is the second line and we need a pung of twos and I'm going to start with the two cracks and we need four, three. So I'm going to click on it three times. Next, we need the white dragon. The white dragon has a dual purpose. It is the matching dragon to the dots, but also in the year hand, it is zero. We need a pung of white dragons, which is now three zeros. I click on it three times. Now we need a pung of twos, either in dots or bams. I'm going to choose to use bams. We need four another Kong in a different suit. We use cracks and bams. Now we'll use dots. We need four. We'll click validate. Congratulations. Did the hand. Next we can move on to the next hand. Consecutive run category line five. To complete this it must be all one suit because it's one color. You would think you need to use the numbers one, two, three, four. We're going to change the numbers and start with a different number. You could start this, for example, with five, and you can have five, six, seven, eight. Today we're going to start it with the number two, and we're going to use the suit of BAM. Instead of the number one, we're going to use the number two. So we need a pung of two BAM. Next, instead of the pung of twos, we now have to follow the ascending order, and we need a pung of threes, and we're going to continue with the suit of three bam. Next, we need a kong of fours being consecutive rather than the threes. This is so good for your brain. So now we're going to use the number four 
four BAM, and we need four of them. We need fives, and we need four of them, a Kong. So let me click validate and move on to our final hand for this warm up exercise. We are now in the Winds and Dragons category, and we're playing line number three. This is on the far right of your card. You need four flowers. Whether you have a one flower or a two flower, all flowers are equal. And so we'll start off with four flowers. Just click on four flowers. Next, we need four north. A Kong of north. need a single east, a single west, and a Kong of south. Always in the Winds and Dragons section, news, N-E-W-S, will always be in that order and spell the word news. Let's validate the hand and once again, congratulations. This completes our warm up. Let's move on to playing a regular game with robots. So you're going to click on play with bots, then click on official game. You can choose just for fun, and that's a practice. I like playing the official game, and I'm going to select my level. You can select standard, intermediate, or advanced. Then once you pick your level, you can hit launch game. Once you click, um, you have to click if you want to be open to letting other people into your game. Um, I usually say no when I'm practicing. Now you have some choices. You can choose to change the card, but we're playing with the 2022 card. You can also choose um, how to set your timer. Uh, the timer I'm going to set to zero, but you can choose from four seconds to 10 seconds, but since I'm talking today, I'm going to have the timer off zero. So you can choose the bot level. Today I'm choosing bot level as beginner. You can choose intermediate or advanced. Uh, it's best to start with beginner. To, and you can also choose um, what theme you want your background. Today I'm using Midnight Sky. Uh, the previous one I had Forest Trails, and you can see there's several to pick from. It, um, it's just based on your personal preference. And then you can also um, pick your tiles that you would like to play with. I'm going to play with the traditional tiles that we've all learned on. You can play large print if you need some help seeing them larger or you can choose the Maj Online. The Maj Online are some great fun looking tiles, uh, but you do have to be familiar with all the types of um, suits there are and what they look like. Um, they're pretty um, interesting tiles and give them a try to start your game by clicking, clicking excuse me, first start Charleston. Game. And so the first thing you wanna do is sort your tiles by either rank or suit. I prefer suit. And then you need to pick a category of where you're going to collect your tiles towards. So the first thing I look at in order to pick a category is, are there any pairs? In this example, we have um, a pair of five BAMs. Then I look to see if it's only one pair or two pairs, and we only have one pair. So I'm going to focus on the one pair. Then I look to see what other tiles mostly that I have to go with the pair. I find those that fit in a category together. I could think about several categories. I can focus on the fives. I can play one, three, five, seven, nine, all in one suit, or I can collect all the low numbers. Either way, I wouldn't go wrong. By both, I'm focusing on my pair of five BAMs and collecting the tiles that belong to the category. In those categories, if I had any, I would keep dragons and flowers. So for today, I'm going to play the low numbers and keep all the low numbers and get rid of all the high numbers from my first pass of the Charleston. By placing your unwanted tiles to the right, you can hit the space bar and they will pop into the box so you're ready for your first right on the, for the Charleston. 
I always keep flowers in the opportunity that I might want to switch my hand and dragons because they are in the category. You can also move around your tiles uh, to how you see fit. And um, I'm probably not going to play the winds. Um, I only have one north, one east, one south, but I do put them there just in case I get a new pair. I am going to hold on to the north and south. There is that one hand in Winds and Dragons that uses a consecutive run. So maybe we could play three, four, five with north and south. So I'm going to hold on to that. I'm going to get rid of the east. One crack and three dot. And again, if you want, you can drag it or I can just hit the space bar and it'll pop it into the box. And then I can hit pass for our first over. We received an eight BAM, which we're not going to use. We received a four BAM. Now we have a new pair. We have a pair of four BAMs and five BAMs. And we also received a two dot. We could keep the two dot. As I said, we're not going to use the eight BAM. We probably won't use the one dot and definitely not the soap. So that's our first pass to the left. Now we have to decide if we're going to continue the Charleston. We did not receive any tiles to help us, um, and so I still have three tiles to pass, so I'm going to click Continue the Charleston. We are second left Second Charleston. after I hit Continue. I don't need the nine BAM, the east, or the one dot, so I'm going to hit the space bar, and they're going to pop into the box. one crack east and a one bam. Now we have a new pair, pair of one bams, as well as four bams, five bams, and two dots. The north and east I will still keep in hopes that maybe we can play three, four, five. Now I have to get rid of three tiles. I chose the two, the one crack, and east. I'm gonna pass the white, the eight bam, and the three for our last sprite. Now we're on to the courtesy pass. You have to pass zero to three tiles. Courtesy pass. And you get to choose between the person across from you. The person who chooses the least amount will be the priority. So I'm going to choose three. I have plenty to pass. I chose east, one dot, and red dragon. Lucky us, we pulled a two bam, and now we're ready to begin the game. Prioritize your discards into those you think you'll least use. So we'll start by discarding eight the bam. eight bam. East. Each time a tile is discarded, you must decide if you want to call for it or ignore it. Some people find that, that this is a daunting task, but it keeps One you on dot. point and makes you decide on each tile if it's something that's important to you or not, rather than being lazy and allowing the computer to figure it out. We received two BAM, and now we'll slide it over into position where the other twos are. We're showing that really nice. Two dots. Discarded. Green. And now we have to decide if we want the green tile or not. Four crack. We'll go through four the crack. game and choose the tiles we want to keep. We'll discard the red. The four bam we can call if red. we like, but we're still four not bam. sure what hand we're playing. Or maybe we already know that we're playing the first line. So let's call it call. four pung. Now we need to discard. I would discard three crack. Three crack. One crack. East. The game moves pretty swiftly by clicking ignore as long as you're very confident in the tiles you Three need. Crack. We've decided on the first hand in consecutive Green. run. So South. we already have our pairs of one BAM. East. We have our pair of two BAM. Eight BAM. And now we're just waiting on our threes and fives. Now we have another five BAM. So now we just need one more to complete our five South. for the first line. One dot. Five crack. Call south. When somebody calls for a tile, you should Four figure dot. out what hand they're playing, but usually so. with one exposure, we won't be able to. Now, north. To the Nine crack. I that when I discard one of the pairs, Nine bam. that someone will call it, Six display bam. it with a joker, and I'll be able to do a joker exchange with the remaining one in my hand West. and get a joker so. for me to use. Two dot. Three bam. Love to have this three bam, but unfortunately, we don't have a joker to call for it for a pung. 
need the one BAM. We already have our two BAMs for our hand, so we don't need this one BAM. One BAM. Discard. Eight dot. Call. Nine BAM. Our left called for eight dot. Now there's a joker available, so we're hoping that we get Seven an eight bam. dot so that One we can bam. do the joker exchange and we could get the joker. West. Three dot. North. Five dot. Nine crack. North. Nine bam. Soap. Red. Eight crack. Call five dot. When your opponent has two exposures, you should try to figure out their hand. So on the right hand side, Red. there's a uh, playing a consecutive run. Uh, Green five six seven eight. Red seven dot. Soap. West seven dot five dot three bam. Again, a three bam was discarded and we're unable to call for it. We Eight need bam. a joker at this point. Three dot five dot six dot two bam seven dot three dot we're more than halfway through the game there are forty tiles left. When six dot time to get rid of your pairs to see if someone will six bam. call for it so that you can hopefully get their joker Flower. if they place a joker up at their exposure. West four crack three crack three dot eight bam flower green mahjong Looks like Marjorie was playing that five, six, seven, eight, nine hand, and she had lots of jokers. What I suggest you doing after each game is to go around the table and learn the hands by seeing what people were playing. So Quentin on the top is playing five, seven, seven, nine. He's missing the seven dots. button that shows remaining tiles or you can click on the button that shows discarded tiles. The discarded tiles show if you possibly might have missed a tile that you were looking for. And Dottie is playing flowers two, four, six, eight, uh, the first hand in two, four, six, eight. This game does have the name of each hand underneath. On the remaining tiles, you see that Dottie's six dots were still there, so she had a good chance of winning. But unfortunately, neither one of us has won, and um, Marjorie went. Marjorie won, so good for her, and congratulations to her. Now we're going to move on and play the next game by clicking Start New Game. It's a new game, so new decisions. First Charleston. So let's first sort by suit, as always. Um, and so initially, when you sort by suit, we see we have no pairs. The only pairs that we do have are two flowers. And flowers are in every category, so um, it's not really a good start. Now we can sort by rank. Once we see we're sorted by rank, there's several options we can choose. Um, I initially see a uh, three, six, nine. I also see uh, collecting low numbers or collecting high numbers. And you can choose which way you want to play. Key here is there is no right or wrong answer. You just have to stick to a category and collect those numbers during the Charleston or wait till you get a new pair to keep it simple for yourself. I'm going to play three, six, nine and discard the following tiles for the Charleston. You just need to choose three unwanted tiles. Let's start with the seven dot, an odd. Now let's pick an even, four bams, and let's go with the one in a different suit. So I'm going to pick one crack. 
remember we decided to play 369. So we're going to pull all the tiles that are not in the 369 category over to the right. First, let's sort by suit and then pull the tiles over to the right. And then we're going to pick three more tiles to go across. We're going to pass an odd, an even, and a wind. We did receive a flower, so we'll put that with our other flower, and then we'll get rid of a four and an eight, but we don't want to pass two fours. So let's go ahead and break that up and pass a north. Now we have to decide if we would like to continue with the Charles stand. I'm going to keep the nine BAM. We have three more passes to go, so that will be nine additional tiles that we might receive a Second better Charleston. hand. Give me the west, four BAM, and four crack left. The fours aren't the best pass to pass, so I'm going to try to break them up. I'm looking at the card, and the hand with three flowers is in three different suits. So um, we're talking about the second hand down. It's either in one suit or three different suits. So I'm going to get rid of one, the three dot and try to do three bam um, and use the nine bam. I'm going to choose three different suits. Three crack, six dot, nine bam. I can maybe play the hand three, six, nine, in two different suits, but again, I think it's best if we just stick with three crack, six dot, nine bam. And this way I can break up the four. So I can give the west, the three bam, and the four bam. We received a great pass. We got a three crack and a nine bam, which fits right into what we're playing. Three tiles is perfect for our next pass. We have an odd and an even in two different suits. And yes, we are giving the one crack, but it's so far away from the nine crack, it's a good pass. We did receive a six bam, which I normally would keep, but I'm going to stay on track and play four, three flowers, the three cracks, six dots, and nine bams. So I'm going to pass the last three tiles Courtesy for pass. our final right. For the courtesy pass, I'm still going to pass the last three tiles. I'm going to select three tiles to pass. Eight bam. Again, you have to decide if you would like the tile or not. Just like you would in a real game, instead of the computer making these decisions, you have to make three them. Three bam. East. Four bam. One crack. Eight crack. Five bam. We received West. a joker. I'm not sure North. how we're going to use it yet, so I'll just place it as a marker in my hand as to, to the left of the tiles I'm discarding. Green. I'm not sure if it's going to be used with the six so. dots or three bams, but we are ready to call for the nine bams. One crack. One dot. East. One dot. Four bam. Green. Seven dot. Flower. We already have our flower, so we don't need to call that. We only need a pung of flowers. Green. So we can ignore. Eight crack. West. Two crack. You always want to prioritize your discards. Even though I know we're not going to use the three dot or the nine crack, I'm still going to hold on Two to dot. them. You never nine know bam. what you're going to pick up during the remaining wall. The nine crack has been discarded. We're ready to call it. I would call, call. for the Kong. Eight dot. Two bam. One crack. Three dot. Five bam, flower. 
4 crack call 9 crack 2 bam 1 bam call 9 crack red call flower 6 crack call four four dot. It has two exposures up you should be trying to figure out their hand dotty on the left has a pung of four cracks and a con Seven dot. of six call bam. five bam now if you look in the two four six eight section there is no hand that has matching fours and sixes in that combination so we are assuming she's playing five a crack. consecutive run four five six seven six bam so be careful discarding cracks. I'm a little nervous to discard the five crack because of Dottie. But again, um, at this point, I'm going for the win. There's plenty of tiles left and I could possibly win. So I will discard the five crack. Five crack. Joker Phew, swap. Dottie didn't West. need that. It's happy about that. Four dot. Eight bam. Miss the six crack to do the three exchange, dot nine but crack. I'll do it on next turn. It's no worries. There's Seven only crack. one six crack Call available, and dot. I have it. Don't forget to do those on your turn. Jokers definitely help you win the game. You just have to double click on the joker. The tile will automatically be taken out of your hand. Confirm Dottie's playing four, five, six, seven. It's confirmed Dottie's playing four, five, six, joker seven. Joker swap. It is possible by doing that joker swap on Dottie's six crack that we can be giving her a jokerless hand. But at this point, we are going for the win also. We are going to be one tile away. Now you should be trying to figure out Marjorie's hand with Two seven dot, dots four bam. and a Kong of red dragons. Eight Eight dot, consecutive run the fourth line down. Four bam. So she can be playing six seven, six seven with red dragons. Casey discard the four crack because four Dottie crack. has three of them North. up. She does not need that. Four dot. Eight Jokers dot. Around to place them where I think they'd be best fit. At this point, we can nine win crack. either on a two three dot. crack or six dot. So I place the joker between, not knowing which way it's going to be used. How exciting. We're one away. Six bam. One crack. Soap. Two bam. South. Nine dot. Three dot. Soap. Flower. Two crack. Two bam. Seven bam. Green. Soap. It's possible Quentin might need that one dot for his hand, but we are one away. So we're going to discard the one, one dot, dot and take the chance. Bam. To go for the win. North. There it is. Three crack. Winning hand. How exciting. We now can call Mahjong by clicking in the bottom of the screen. I think it's super important to check the hands, so do that Mahjong. at the end of the game so that you can learn new hands. Marjorie was playing consecutive run, line number four, six, seven, six, seven with red dragons, which we initially had thought she was playing, I mentioned earlier. Quinton was playing one, three, five, seven, nine, hand number three, which is one, three, three, five. He was two away looking for a three dot and a five dot. Dottie was playing a four, five, six, seven. She needed um, some more fives, which she didn't have. So um, she was a little bit of away. She was two tiles away. So um, this was a great hand, a great example of um, just being patient and let the tiles come to you. And uh, it worked out great for us. We used the most of our multiples and we were able to win on uh, 369 line number two, second hand in three different suits. Charleston. Let's start a new game.
and uh, we're going to sort by suit and we're going to look at our pairs. We have a Pung this time of three cracks, a pair of green dragons. So let's think about where we want to play. We could play in one, three, five, seven, nine. We could play all with threes. Let's uh, do the first Charleston and we definitely aren't going to use the East. keep all the threes so let's move the tiles around so that the threes are in the beginning I'm thinking I'm gonna play like numbers and get rid of um, the higher numbers so pulling all the threes forward and placing the tiles to the rear I have um, I don't need that one also so let's do our first pass we'll do the e card the one crack the seven bam and east but I always look at what possibly the next pass would be and I see we have a five crack and nine crack. So I'm going to switch them around and crack seven bam and nine crack. I decided not to do the five crack because you could have five, seven in two different suits, but there's two hands that you can have seven and nine in two different suits. But I think it's best to do the one crack, seven bam, nine crack. Always keep flowers and we don't need the two bam or the one bam or the five crack or the east. I think I'm going to break up uh, the two bam and the one bam. We received a five bam, five dot, and one bam. I'm going to split them up, the five, because I don't like passing the same number. So we'll pass the north, five dot, and one bam. Based on the tiles that have been passed around, we probably could have played one, three, three, five in the odds, uh, but we're gonna stick with the, any like numbers with threes. This pass looks familiar, seven bam north and nine crack. We have plenty of tiles uh, to continue with the Charleston, so let's continue and we'll discard those tiles. Second Charleston. So uh, we'll put up the seven bam, nine crack, and north. The west, one crack, and eight crack we do not need, so that will be our next over part of the Charleston. I'm going to break up the cracks, and I'm going to do west, eight crack, and five bam. We received another one crack, one bam, and soap. Unfortunately, um, we're not going to change hands right now. We're going to stick with uh, any like numbers. So let's discard the soap and the one bam with the one crack. However, second thought, let's keep the soap in case we change hands in any like numbers. And we'll discard one one crack and one bam. This is a perfect example of when to use a blind pass. I'm going to pass two tiles to my right. Three tiles will be coming in from my left. I'm going to blindly take one without looking and pass it to the right. Unfortunately, on the computer program, you don't see that process, but I will only get two tiles in the end. Now courtesy we have pass. three tiles to pass in the courtesy. Again, you can choose to do no tiles or three. And based on what the opponent does across from you, uh, the person with the least amount will win. So we're going to do three tiles. We're going to do the one crack, eight crack, and west. Uh, three one crack. discards before we have to make a decision. But we're looking at the, one crack. any like numbers hand, either the second one or the third one. Two crack, seven bam. One dot. Seven crack. We have a new pair of four BAMs, so we can keep the four BAM, and hopefully later we can use it to draw out someone for a call, and we can do a um, swap the, for a joker. Eight crack, one BAM. Five crack, four dot. You could possibly play three, four, three, four, but that would mean giving away um, all of our uh, three cracks. And I'm not sure we want to play that, but at any rate, we five can get bam. rid of the five, five bam. bam. Two crack. 
South. We received a two dot. We possibly could play uh, two, three, four with uh, the pair of flowers. So let's take a look at that. Let me move some tiles around. Then we have flowers, two, three, four, and three different suits. So keeping our options open with any like numbers or possibly two, three, four, I'm going to give away the four dot. Four dot. Flower. Call. Soap. Eight crack. Currently, I'm not really looking One dot. for anything Nine because crack. I haven't secured additional tiles to pick which hand I might play. Call oh, seven look, dot. They called nine crack. Now it's possible they have a joker there. We could maybe do Call a joker two spot. bam. So we're hoping for a nine crack to get that joker. Perfect for us. We got a three bam, so we'll keep that, which has the matching dragons to it. At this point, we're going to focus on any like numbers, and so I'm going to get rid of the two dot and again use the two four dot. bams possibly two dot. to draw out someone for North. a call with and West. be able to do an exposure with a joker. When it comes our turn again, we'll be able to swap One out bam. the four bam. Four dot. I figure out their hand uh, West. with three flowers and West. four nines. Actually, three hands that they can be playing. In three, six, nine, the second crack, hand so in consecutive run, nine the second dot, hand, which would be eight, nine, call, and six then in dot, any like numbers, the first hand. Call, two, bam. I'm going to keep that red dragon. I'm going to get rid of the four, bam. It is four, bam. Three Unfortunately, dot, we don't have enough tiles to call that three dot, so we're going to have to let eight it go. Eight, crack. Six, crack. Six crack, seven bam, three bam. I'm not 100% sure what we're playing. So at this point, I'm not going to call the three bam because then that would be committing a hand to the second line. I'm still flip flopping between the second so, and third line. So there is one more three bam. So I'm going to ignore this one. Four bam, eight bam. The eight bam. So um, he might not be playing consecutive run, although he could be playing with eight dots. It is also possible Dottie would want the eight bam. Let's see who gets it. Dottie calls it. It's possible that she just meant messed up Quentin, Quentin's hand. So we'll have to see what happens. Call two dot. Dottie needs a nine bam. Two crack, east. Joker swap, eight crack. Five dot. For us, we have a joker. Now we can let that four, four crack. crack go. One bam. Nine bam. Mahjong. Congratulations to Dottie. She did win that hand, six, seven, eight, nine. Make sure you look around the table and figure out everybody else's hand. Quentin was playing three flowers with three flowers and the number nine. He never picked up another grouping of eight bams or eight dots. Marjorie had uh, one, three, five, seven, nine, line number three. She was quite a ways from Mahjong. We were actually closer. So just make sure you go around and look at everybody's hands so that you can learn some new hands um, and see if they were um, had some of your tiles that you were missing. We're going to end for today, and I appreciate your time this afternoon. For practice, I Love Mahjong was generous to offer you, offer you an extra trial week using the code CB. Please take a look in the description below how you can support me if you enjoy my YouTube channel. You can connect with me on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and my website, which also has sets and Mahjong supplies listed. All the links are in the description below. Want to learn the game or improve your skills? Email me at mahjongclass at yahoo.com. That's M-A-H-J-O-N-G-G-C-L-A-S-S -S at yahoo.com. Looking forward to our next YouTube Live. 
Sunday, the 27th at 3 p.m. Please join me.